something's wrong with your head. Looks like you haven't slept in days. I heard the craziest sound in the middle of the night, man. Screaming, screeching sound. What if I believed in ghosts? We are talking Holly Stay, and this is directed, written, and produced by Mary Patel Gallagher. And it's an Airbnb horror. Now, since Barbarian, we have actually seen a few kind of Airbnb uh, horror movies and thriller movies that have a kind of a similar uh, premise where, you know, they're double booked and then kind of things happen. As I say, the aforementioned Barbarian, there was This Land, um, Eight Found Dead, and Holiday, just to name a handful. Now, I don't know what the budget was on this movie, but I'm assuming it was very, very low. Uh, so let me tell you what the plot synopsis is here. It follows two couples who both book into this kind of Airbnb, I think in California somewhere. And, um, you know, they turn up and they kind of don't know what's going on and they can't get a hotel anywhere else because it happens to be the same week as Comic-Con, which I thought was a kind of a, an amusing little uh, aside there. So there's no hotels that are available. So that these two couples end up kind of deciding to kind of share this kind of holiday home and, you know, getting kind of refunds from the, uh, you know, the estate agents and things. So they try and make the best of it, but um, there seems to be a kind of, hooded figure kind of lurking around the premises somewhere and then there appears to be this kind of like uh, screaming almost like banshee like uh, screams coming from this kind of golf course which happens to be kind of uh, next to this kind of property now uh, both these couples are kind of getting on fairly well there may be kind of secrets that these uh, these people are kind of like keeping close to their chests what will happen you will have to watch the movie and find out so, what do we think of Holly Stay? Let's talk about the positives first of all. Okay, so, you know, on a low budget movie, it's not trying to overextend itself. It is, you know, it is kind of trying to play within the kind of the remit set by its own kind of budget and what it kind of can't afford. And I do think there are um, some, some elements here where the, 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 the character work is, you know, fairly kind of interesting. And I will say, that there, there are moments here where I do feel like our, our, our couples do feel like, um, like they have a good kind of chemistry. In particular, our Irish couple, um, they really do feel like they have a, a kind of a good kind of chemistry towards one another. And I was kind of quite enjoying their kind of interplay. And our other couple, uh, I, you know, have a little bit more of a kind of a, you know, things are revealed about them. And, uh, but I still thought they were kind of had some interesting kind of character dynamics there. Now I will say, I think the acting was mixed, but even with that being said, I still kind of like the characters. And part of the reason for that, and this is gonna be a negative as well, is it's very, very character based because ultimately there's not a lot of else that happens in this movie, but it does give us the opportunity to have some uh, getting to know the characters. And that's one of the upswings of it, is I do feel that you have this kind of um, fairly kind of well-drawn characters. The movie really just, just does focus on these kind of, these kind of four characters. Uh, I think there are a couple of kind of spooky moments, in particularly where we hear this kind of like this wailing coming from outside, and um you know it's it, it, you're gonna say audio from an audio perspective you know it was quite kind of freaky if you can imagine if you're hearing this and you're kind of not really sure what's kind of going on it's it would be pretty kind of um disconcerting if you're the kind of the person to be in this kind of situation actually kind of hearing it uh so i you know that was uh, interesting, and I, you know, I think an interesting choice. Certainly, again, using that kind of budget, using kind of audio effects rather than kind of um, you know visual kind of effects to kind of get the kind of the point across. The movie does try and have a bit of a twist with it, but a bit of a kind of surprise ending. You know, I, I, I appreciate the ambition. It causes loads of problems plot-wise and logic-wise, but you know, at least here there, there's a little bit of a twist to kind of like. Um, subvert your expectations uh okay so let me now talk about what i think does not work in this in this particular film and let me just kind of 
come on from the, the point I was just kind of saying here. This movie, without, and I, and I, I was thinking about doing a spoiler one for this because there is a, a large amount of issues with logic in this film, but it primarily comes from once the kind of the twist is revealed. So I, but I won't do that. Um, so if I used to say, when the twist is revealed, don't think about it too much because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, on a number of reasons, a number of reasons. Uh, and that's all I'll say in regard to that. This, this movie is fraught with logic problems. And this is where I feel where uh, our kind of writer, director, producer, maybe would have benefited from having another producer, maybe another writer to kind of look over this. And I, I think this might be her first kind of feature. Um, certainly as director, but it's it, it really does have some fairly kind of glaring issues in regards to kind of logic, which kind of like, if you can't afford to do a splashy film, then you need to have solid writing and kind of like a good, I mean, the character work I, I kind of liked. But the, uh, the the actual plot here is very slight and there it is, it is just kind of peppered with issues in regards to logic. I'm not going to point them out because I don't want to spoil things. Suffice to say, if you want to enjoy this movie, just don't think about it very much. Okay. I also mentioned the acting. Um, I like the character work because I, we spend a lot of time with these characters. But the acting isn't brilliant from some of our... I mean, okay, let me let me put it like this. I do feel there are some sequences and scenes in the movie where the movie is fairly well acted. But conversely, I do have to say I think there are scenes where they, where they are not. So I'm not going to sit here and say this actor was bad, that actor was good. Because I feel there are some actors here that do a good job on some scenes and the same actors don't do a particularly good job on other scenes. It also feels like sometimes they, they are stumbling over the dialogue. Um, it feels like sometimes it might have been a bit improvised, but other times it was kind of, they were kind of, uh, you know, saying lines which came out kind of a little bit clun clunky. So you have that kind of um, a dichotomy between those two sort of styles. That it isn't helped us where there are some kind of issues here in regards to the audio. It doesn't particularly pick up very well uh, on, on every scene, so it kind of feels a little muffled. You've also got um, actors here with <laughs> accents that aren't English or, um, or uh, American. And they're a little bit hard to understand at times. I mean, that's it is what it is. That's not really a, a critique, but it doesn't help when you have poor audio. Um, so there are instances where it's, it's just difficult to understand what people are saying through kind of one reason or another. Now, plot wise, this movie is really just people on holiday for uh, the vast majority, over an hour of this movie. There's very little thriller elements or horror elements outside of maybe 30 seconds of footage of some guy in a in a uh, robe in the hanging out by the pool in the first hour the rest of it is pure just these people talking and that is it um yes we get good character development i, I, I suppose but there needed to be more going on in this movie Yes, it has a kind of a, a, a sort of a twist in the last sort of 20 minutes of this film, I would say. But the first hour is there's just not got much going on at all. It ends up being you're like you're just watching the literal kind of like two couples hanging out in this holiday home. I mean, it, it, it sounds as fun as that. It literally does sound as fun as that. Um, so this movie had, I feel, needed to have more going on in this, especially maybe the second act. I get the first act, you want to kind of introduce the characters, you want to kind of set up this kind of like, this problem, and then things needed to kind of start happening in this in the second act, and then get resolved in the kind of the third act and have a little bit of a finale, and then you know, that's when you have your twist and stuff. But the second act is kind of more or less the same as the first act in this movie. Um, you know, so it, it feels like it's going nowhere. You know, it, it, it really doesn't have a lot to it. And let's now talk about the kind of the horror elements here. Man, <laughs> I hope you're not expecting much, is all I'm gonna say. Um, okay, how can I, it's low budget, right? I'm, I'm a little forgiving with certain aspects of low budget, but there's, okay, so when the most overt horror thing is revealed, 
Put yourself in that position of the people. I think you'd probably laugh more than be scared. It is... It is not handled well, is the best way I would describe it. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil anything. But this is like... If, if you were in this position, if you were the protagonist, you were just thinking, what the hell? What the hell? Rather than be scared. This is one instance where... I often complain with horror films where people don't act like they're scared. But this is an instance where I feel the opposite is true, because I've been thinking, what are you doing? It's, you did say Comic Con was on, yeah? That's what I'm saying. Let me just see if you can connect the dots there. Um, so there you go. Uh, and like I said, and I'll repeat again, there are some major plot problems, because mainly because of this twist. And, and it, it presents all sorts of logical issues and things that just don't make any sense. So, you know, overall, the, 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 I feel the good elements of this movie really don't add up to uh, much to recommend it. Um, you know, it's, it's, there's just not much to it. And what we do have, I don't, I, I gotta be honest with you, it needed more work on it, uh, to, to be honest. To, to, for it to be an entertaining movie, for it to be a thrilling movie, a scary movie, or even a clever movie, because it's none of those things. Um, you know, and I feel a bit bad for saying this, because it's clearly a, a very, very low budget movie, and I, I understand that it's the uh, director's first film, so I feel a bit bad kind of like being quite negative about it, but I've got to call it like I see it, I can't sugarcoat it. So I'm going to give a 2 out of 10 of this one. It's, it's really kind of like, um, it, it, it feels very amateurish, let me put it like that. Uh, so it's a 2 out of 10, uh, pretty low, um, even for my standards. So uh, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.